Hey everybody, we're back. Welcome back to your favorite couch. I just got back from the gym, so my knees are dead. But that's not important. We're going to be reacting to two short films today. Horror short films. The first one is called Caregiver by Raphael D. Leon Jr. And the link for this one will be in the description, as always. Make sure to go like his video. And uh, make sure you get yourself some drinks some snacks and make sure you get yourself a blanket and you know just in case you, you need a little pillow you know something to cuddle that's a that's okay i i understand it's all right um without further ado we will get into it in three two one Can you look at the camera for a sec? Nora? Why does it look like that? Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I was up late last night with my father and I spent all day at the senior center. So. It's a great thing you do. Interesting. And me for that matter. Yeah. I mean, I saw your ad in the library and I figured it might <coughs> be interesting Excuse to do a class project. Yeah, well, thanks again for doing this. <laughs> So, this guy looks like a recovering weed. It's really weed crazy I haven't seen you around addict. before. Uh, usually I'm just in the AV studio. So. Um, so to get started, what made you want to volunteer? What was that? Oh, that's just my father. He's hungry, but I fed him before you got here. Oh, do you need to? No, no, no. No, it's fine. You were She's saying. strange. What made you want to volunteer? I don't trust her. Senior your community. Life, I guess. I mean, after my mom passed away from her illness and seeing what she went through with her own folks, I knew my father was going to need me. The people I help, they don't have anybody else. Did you find your... You know, I really like oh, that you're the one-man band. Doing all of this yourself, it's, it's really cool. Uh, thanks. Um, yeah, I just work better alone. Um, do you find it rewarding? I'm so sorry I keep messing up your interview. <laughs> ah, I'm just nervous, I guess. Totally fine. Um, do you find it rewarding? It's got all these candles and everything on it. It looks so creepy. Of course. They're wonderful people. For instance, there's Catherine, who never, oh. never. I was wondering what my cat was messing with. Sometimes so hard that I piss myself. Oh. Really? And then there's, there's Lucy, who <laughs> is so sweet. She's got the biggest heart. I love her. She reminds me of my mom. You took a sad turn. You know, the kind of person that puts the needs of others before their own. Shit, I'm sorry. No worries, take your time. I'll just cut that out. Hmm? You'll cut that out, right? If you want me to, sure. Come here, Okay, got Come in. Father hates seeing me cry. Oh, there you right go. Right before he died, he'd say Over not there. to cry because he'd always be, be on there. The fridge right now. I didn't really ever know what that meant. Cats always I mean, come on the mom, fridge. Right, so you're taking care of your dad? Yes. <laughs> I am out of it today, aren't I? <laughs> go back to your room. Who are you talking to? My father. Wait, so is your dad I'm so alive? barely uncomfortable. Not yet. Who's there? It's no one. Let's just go back to the interview. Do not go back to the Who's interview. back there? Oh. Uh, 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 Damn. Somebody help! She just prison shanked this man. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this is, why you gotta keep going? He ain't dead yet. You suck it, man. Oh. I'm so sorry, Troy. No, you're not. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, you're just gonna hold it. <laughs> 
I'll finish your project to make it look nice. Okay. Oh, that's that's not okay. Oh. Okay. That um was interesting. <laughs> I was not expecting um I was not expecting that at all. I thought like her dad was going to be some kind of like ghost or something, not just a straight zombie. I'm guessing that's what that was. Um God, <laughs> she just straight like turned around, prison shanked him, you know? Like, damn, no remorse, just, yeah. <laughs> she had to stab him so many times, she's just bad at this. Like, come on now. <laughs> it's pretty good. Um, okay, we'll, we'll get on with the next one. The next one is called Sleeping Pills by Gerard Moore. I guess is how you say his name. Um, it is about the same length as the other one. Well, without further ado, let's get right into it. I don't have very good water pressure. Oh. Uh, no, 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 no. <coughs> Excuse me. Thirty nights later? It's a pretty big time skip. Oh, they should have just prescribed him sleeping pills as the name. <laughs> of course. What? Oh no. He's out. You forgot to refill your prescription. Oh no. <laughs> the demon's messing with him in real life too. I guess that's what it is. Brother, you gotta get out of there. Ooh, put your dogs away, man. Ooh, 
ugly jumping in. She's ugly. Oh, she's gonna be right there, Winnie. Oh, she stayed in the same spot. That's good. That's good. Don't look behind the curtain. Don't. He's dumb. Oh, brother. He's going to see her again. Oh, she's still there. Every bit freaky. <sighs> oh, that one was so much more like that one was incredibly like just eerie. God, I don't know if it was like a demon or or like some kind of like schizophrenia thing. I I, I don't know. But God. That was freaky as hell, dude. Jesus. Hi, kitty. Uh, that was really good, though. The whole, like, the, the effects for the demon thing, super well done. All the, like, the movement and, like, the, the whole, like, face elongation thing they did there with, like, uh, I really like the whole aspect of like not knowing what's real and what's not, you know, just super freaky. It's, that's like a just horrifying to me. Oh my god, super good job. Um, that the link for that one will, will also be in the description. Um, make sure to leave him a like as well. And uh, I hope you guys got a little creeped out, a little scared, you know. Hope you had some fun watching the video. Made your day a little better. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.